Why did Soviet Union fall apart? It was on 26th of December 1991 when Soviet Union collapsed and 15 separate countries emerged from the disintegration. The eighth and final leader of Soviet Union, Mikhail Gorbachev, resigned on the previous day and he handed over his power to the Russian president, Boris Yeltsin. This disintegration of the USSR gave birth to the Commonwealth of Independent States, also called as the CIS. This breakdown is considered as a victory of freedom, the win of capitalism over socialism, also a triumph of democracy over totalitarianism. But this led to a complete reformation in the entire world in every area starting from political, economic, social, and military alliances. The question is, how Soviet Union fell apart that was emerged in 1921 and eventually became really powerful by the end of the 1980s? Well, the answer is not really simple and it requires digging into the history to have a better idea of the reason. Emerge of Soviet Union Soviet Union emerged in 1921 from a civil war that went for quite long. Before that, it was Roman of monarchy to rule the country. Before falling apart, Soviet Union was really a very powerful and one of the largest nations in the globe that was occupying almost one-sixth of the Earth's land. The Russian Revolution started during 1917 while the radical leftists threw out the Roman of monarchy and Soviet Union was born in the Russian Empire. It gave birth to a bloody and long civil war. The civil war was held between the Red Army and White Army. While the Red Army was backed by Bolshevik government or supporter of USSR, the Red Army was backed by the monarchist, capitalist, and the other forms of socialists. The war kept going on and finally the White Army won the battle by defeating the Red Army. It resulted into the formation of Soviet Union that was an agreement between Russia, Ukraine, Transcaucasia, and Belarus. A new Communist Party was established that took the entire control of government and it was led by the Marxist revolutionary Vladimir Lenin. Soviet Union started growing with time and it became highly powerful to contain almost 15 Soviet socialist republics. After Lenin's death in 1924, Joseph Stalin came to power and he ruled the nation by his strict rules. His policies were so brutal that left a large part of the citizens dead. Before he came to the power, Soviet Union was an agrarian society and Stalin transformed it into a military superpower. Now when it comes to the part that how Soviet Union fell apart, there is not any single reason. Rather, several reasons contribute to the disintegration of Soviet Union and most of the possible reasons are stated here. Reasons of Disintegration of Soviet Union Mikhail Gorbachev's Policy, Perestroika and Glasnost Gorbachev was elected as the General Secretary of Politburo on March 11, 1985 and he was the eighth and final leader of Soviet Union. He was elected after the death of Konstantin Chernenko, who expired at 73. The goal of the last leader, Mikhail Gorbachev, was completely different. He wanted to revitalize the entire economic situation of Soviet Union, and it required to change the complete economic and political structure. This was not an easy task at all, and Mikhail planned of introducing two policies in this context. Those two policies are known as Perestroika and Glasnost. Perestroika refers to the rebuilding of economic situation, while Glasnost refers to the freedom of speech. Even though Mikhail's intention was really different, but it cost him a lot. Under the plan Perestroika, Soviets started to move towards a hybrid communist capitalist system following the developed country China. This made the government to allow market forces to state some development and production decision. It also required the complete rearranging of the party. As a result, 
the younger voices came to the forefront and with time, Gorbachev imagined of building a democratically chosen communist party. The second policy that he introduced is the glasnost, that is freedom of speech. As per this new rule, people are allowed to raise their voice and they can freely express what they actually think and their views. Citizens remained quiet for almost decades, and Mikhail Gorbachev thought that if people are empowered to express their views, things will become much easier. But unfortunately, Gorbachev's policies failed completely, and when citizens were powered to put forward their views, it resulted into the loss of control over them. Citizens started criticizing the government rather than doing something good with their power, and government became really weak to the Soviet Union people. They used their power for nothing good but to end up the complete Soviet Union rule. So even though Mikhail Gorbachev was really a very powerful and an honest leader with a good aim of reformation, but it actually failed to work out and this is why he is strongly considered as one of the main reasons of Soviet Union's disintegration. However, other reasons too are there and those are explained below. Flaws in Politburo When Soviet Union was emerged from the Russian Revolutionary, the first general secretary was Vladimir Lenin, the lead of the Politburo team. His intention was extremely powerful and they tried to do all good as much as possible. After his death, the next leader was Joseph Stalin to rule the nation. Things kept going on and Politburo was ruling the nation by its power. The member of the team was quite good, but they had their flaws also. They were inspired by an ideological purity that is linked with the Marxism, and it is true that this was ever been able to maintain by the young generation. Nikita Khrushchev was the last leader who worked with the revolutionary team directly, and after his removal in 1963, the picture of Politburo was completely different. The Politburo started to drift during the 1960s and 1970s, and there was a huge change in the team entirely. They did manage to enhance their power and wealth, but most of the money were being spending to maintain their luxurious lifestyle. They started spending money on luxurious foods, cars, clothing, while the Soviet Union people remained ignored and so many people expired in starvation. This created backlash among the citizens and they refused to accept the party ideology. Their anger started growing, and with time, when the power came to their hand during 1980, they were really not interested to save a nation which did not care for them. As a result, the Soviet Union broke down eventually in 1991. United States Clear Aggression Against Soviet People it was 1960 when the Cold War between United States and Soviet Union started to grow. By 1979, Jimmy Carter in U.S. inspired the war, while by 1981, things got a worse form. Ronald Reagan took the power of United States in 1981, and he was the real enemy of Soviet Union. He used to address the Soviet Union as an evil empire, and his intention was too prominent against USSR. He ensured to make the military power stronger while the weapons and other necessary stuff for war were improvised. With this, Ronald Reagan attacked the Soviet people and destroyed their economy. They were made separated from rest of the world and it affected the oil prices badly. The oil price became too low to generate revenue and it caused the Soviet Union to fall down eventually. Economic Shortages and Too Heavy Focuses on the Capital Goods The economy of every nation is limited, and it is true that they need to make a balance between the capital goods and consumer goods. While capital goods such as guns are important to make the nation powerful, consumer goods such as butter is really important for the basic living of the people. But when Stalin came to power in the Soviet Union, he focused highly on capital goods production and ignored the consumer goods. 
the members of Politburo never paid any attention in enhancing the consumer goods, and this resulted into starvation among the citizens of Soviet Union. They were deprived from the basic foods, clothing, and shelter, which eventually made them to look for a revolution. While the aforementioned reasons are the main reasons of the disintegration of Soviet Union, the structure of the nation too is responsible more or less for the quick demise of the once a very powerful nation Soviet Union. This nation consisted 15 different nations and all of them were different in many areas. For example, their religion, culture, language, ethnicity was completely different and they were not compatible with each other also. This created an odd situation actually, and this can be said as one of the strong reasons of fall of the Soviet Union. All these reasons were weakening the power of Soviet Union, and finally this nation broke down completely by 1991, which generated 15 different countries. Mikhail Gorbachev, the last leader of Politburo, finally resigned on 25th of December 1991, and it was just the next day when Soviet Union fell apart to create a newly formed entity called SCIS, Commonwealth of Independent States.